Hey gang. So, some things have changed. Yes. I am now in Bowles, Arizona, which is about 25-ish miles north of Quartzsite. So, I'm at the, the smaller grocery store that the guy I've been working for, he owns. He has, he has the main event. He has the Roadrunner grocery store that I work at in January in Quartzsite. And then he has this Roadrunner grocery store in Bowles that's about half the size, maybe a quarter of the size of the other one. Anyway, the people that you had here quit yesterday, so this is where I'm at for the summer. <laughs> I'm still doing the vendor booths, but um, during the week I will be here cleaning, stocking, selling food, making stuff. I don't know, whatever, whatever, whatever. And um, so we've got beer, wine, groceries, a few of, a little bit of the stuff that we have at the main event, which I'll probably be bringing some more over. But, um, yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, changes always work for me, so I don't know. Anyway, so I'm going to show you, I've got an RV space outside, so I'm going to show you that. Okay. Okay, gang, so here it is. Right, right over there around the corner, that's where the van is. Pull in from the back side. So there's a laundromat, the market, of course, and over here in the parking lot, we have gas. So there's a cafe over there that I think is not open again until the fall. Um, so many places out here are only open for the season, which is like October to April. So the town is really, really small. And I think this highway is 72, I think, or 79, maybe. I don't know, but I'll go around and show you the others. So here's the back door of the store, the big cooler unit. And we got swamp coolers. I think the big cooler is for that, the beer cooler. I don't know. Anyway, that's what I think would be running. So they're bringing over a weed eater today, and I'm going to clean up this back area right here. And uh, let's see, we'll walk right over here. So I got room to get pots and plant stuff for the summer. I can break. It'll be fun. Yay. Okay, so, ooh, bright light. Here's the van. And I'm going to pull the, the new travel trailer will be here Monday and we'll go right there behind the van. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Anyway, this is it. I just, I got a lot of cleaning up to do back here. It's all fenced in. Looks like people live over here behind the store. So, anyway, this is where I'm at for the summer. Unless things change again. <laughs> As they sometimes do. So, anyway, I'll see y'all later. Ciao, babies! Okay, gang, I'm so excited. This is the new Gypsy Wagon to the 1963 Kencraft tin can, 12 foot long. Uh, it's up against a tree right now, but we got it hooked up to my friend James's truck and we are pulling it to Bows to the store so I can start working on it. Yay! Anyway, see you later. Bye, babies. Looky here. My new home. Well, it will be anyway. <laughs> so I got it here. Um, I want it back there behind the fence, but it was dark last night and that alley back there is not very wide, so we weren't going to try it. But hopefully I'll get it moved back in there. But if not, it'll stay right there and we'll work on it right here. So let me show you. I see I got the slat windows, one at the bottom slats missing. Um, can you see that? It needs work. But that's fine. It's uh, new tires or six months oldish tires, he said. Um, need a door or a window for the door. Don't know which. Going to have to get new doorknobs and deadbolts because he doesn't have keys. Uh, there is a clear title, so don't worry about that one. Um, that window is fine. And let's go inside my little room. 
So that is a cooler, one that an old cooler that you just put a block of ice in. Mobile air. Um, I'm thinking all this wood is is kind of rotted and crooked, so I'm gonna take the kitchen cabinet here out. I'm not sure about that closet right there. I might make that into like a open the door and have a little toilet in the bottom and then hanging up around the side and maybe like storage clothes or whatever. I don't know that there's actually room for a shower, but I might be able to put a pan in there and run a hose. I don't know. We'll see. Um, there's a, a box over the wheel well. I'll save what I can save, but I'm thinking redo the whole thing. If I'm going to do it, I might as well do it, right? So here's a box on this side, a box on that side. The back window, he said he had one that fit, but turns out it didn't fit, so I'm going to have to get a glass for that back window. Uh, that window over there, uh, the stationary glass is there, but the sliding glass part is not, so I'll have to figure that out. But I was thinking I would put my AC unit over there, the one that uh, Rusty gave me right here. I was just thinking I'd put that over there. So this carpet is going to come out, and I'm going to put some kind of linoleum tile something. I started researching that yesterday. I haven't found what I want yet. I'm going to stop by Home Depot in Yuma this weekend and um, just look to look to see what they got and how much it is and figure that out. I'm going to get an electrician out here to, well, first I'm going to get it, get the rest of it. Then I'll get the electrician over to, to hook up. Because there's a thing on that. I know I'm stumbling. There's a, a thing on the outside, just like in the van, where you plug it in. And there's a breaker box in here. Let me get up in here. There's a, a breaker box right there. And um, right there is where the outlet is on the outside of the wall. And it comes in. Let's see. I might be able to fit a little shower thing here. I don't know. We'll see. There might be there might be enough room. There might not. But anyway. That's that. It's kinda of wobbly, but I'll have to get jacks or something to stabilize it. That's the kitchen. And it looks like they just put uh two by fours across the top there was a right there apparently there was a sink or there still is a sink they just covered it up with those boards whoever they are and I'm thinking if I take those boards off my mini fridge will fit right there or a friend of mine down the road says she has a, a camper stove so I may do that but that back there looks all black I don't know if that's moldy or what, but I think maybe I'll just go ahead and rip all that out. Rip all that out. And just go for a shell. Yeah. I think that's probably the best, because I want to redo the walls. I want to put insulation in. Maybe, maybe I can keep the cabinets. I don't, I don't know. Anyway. And this little beauty is a propane lantern. I don't know how it works, but I'm thinking even if I don't use it, I'm going to keep it right there because it's cool. It came with the camper. So anyway, okay, there's the inside. Outside. That there's I need a door for that storage box, and then yeah, I can't wait to get started. I am gonna paint my tongue with rust -oleum, but I'm gonna paint it pink, like neon pink. <laughs> so my trim here looks is light blue. I don't know that it'll stay light blue, but we'll see. I want to get some of that rubber paint and paint the whole thing outside. Yeah. 
uh, brand new tail lights and they all seem to work now these things right there I'm thinking it's part of the frame and I'm maybe I was wondering if maybe I could hook a little basket to it or a bike rack or something where I can put some kind of storage out here I don't know anyway that's what it is this is it this is my baby the gypsy wagon the tin can I don't know what you want to call it not seen to 63 kincraft 12 footer I am very excited very excited to get started so anyway i'll see y'all later ciao babies